Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. So we're gonna start off in this flower bed. This is a August, the end of August update because I had did some major cut back so far because the plants were tired. It was time to cut back and I am ready to plant in the new plants I had sitting out here for a whole month. Here is the four clocks that I start from seed, about ready to bloom. I will be moving it from this area and putting it into a different location. And this is a Rebecca that self seed yourself so i have one here that's fully bloom and another one that's about to get ready to fully bloom right here and then this is also self-seeded as well right next to the rebecca in the four o'clock i make sure i put a picture fox glove it was finished blooming so i cut the stalk back and saved the seed so i could self-seed it in this area because if you don't self-seed it it won't come back and here go another one that grew up from the stalk so i left that alone i had did a major cut back on the pin cushion i haven't planted this yet i'm waiting till it cool down in september are some more of the rebecca have a ton of rebecca's in this area that self seed itself the hostess is looking good i just finished watering today because we haven't had rain in about over a week um i had cut the blooms back i will show you a video of how it look when it had the bloom stops up then we have over here is the echinacea cone flowers i didn't cut these back having this out for the finch right here is the grass i get a tons of question about the grass how do i maintain it my husband cut the grass back because it grew so much this is how it looks when it's cut back earlier it was all over here on this side make sure i show a picture how it looked when it was over here did you want to say hi dino Put some water on it because we haven't rain in about a week or two and he's doing his usual sniffing see the i just got this camera the other day my husband surprised me and bought me a camera he saw me recording with my phone and said oh you need a new, you need a camera to record a video so he purchased me one just look how pretty it is. So it's another Rebecca that's grown. All this used to be Rebecca, and I had dug it up for the fountain because we had dug dug a line from here to here to power the fountain because it lights up at night. Make sure you check out my video that I put between day and night of the yard and this fountain how pretty it is because back here like with the lights that have lights back here i got everything the tall lights i got from target which they don't sell no more and the lights in the back i got from home depot and then this is another pasta i left one of the stalks of the flowers well because it wasn't it just sprouted up i had tons of flowers on these pastas and I decided to go ahead and cut them back. I just love this tree. It's the mini pine tree. And I'm gonna say it's called Mucho, but it's so pretty. Rick call it a Christmas tree because I usually come in and trim it so it can go up. Shake one up like that. This is more of real realistic like it's like a Christmas tree. The reason why it's forming like this because of the grass right here, it push the tree to just go straight up, which is cool. I like it. The grass helped shape this tree. You know, I only paid like three dollars nine years ago, and right here was the fox. Um, I will be digging them out and breaking them up because it had mildew and. I was reading that if you face them out every five, five years, three to five years, it will get rid of the mildew because it needs air to circulate. Then right here are the lilies. I will be moving this out. I'm taking these lilies out. And also, let me go back over here. I don't know if you can see over here. There's some lilies back there that I'll be taking out. My biscuits is doing fine. It still have a lot more buds on here and it, it's been blooming crazy for the last few weeks. Started blooming in the beginning of August. So 
right now a lot of them is falling off and dying it only lasts for like a day or two but I have so many blooms that it will be coming back for next month and then October it will die off you leave the branches up and cut it back in the spring so you know where your hibiscus at so you don't accidentally dig them up think it is dead so I did a major cut back in this area this is another area of the cone flowers that was at least like four or five feet tall I made sure I show you guys the video on the pictures cut it back I left a few up that still had color that went to dying the reason why you want to cut them back is because it give a chance for the second set of bloom to form because you still got another month of warm weather so that's what I did this was like five feet so I cut it back down to three feet where the second blooms will form. This one just opened up to that this morning. Cut this back. I made sure I put the name of it because I can't think of the name of it. Had cut it back and trimmed it a little because you see when it get cooler, you get a second fresh set of blooms. So I cut it back so it can rebloom itself and also cut this back. I kind of got rid of the ones that was mildew out. I will be eventually breaking this up. These are the Proven Winter Leading Lady Plums. I will be eventually breaking this up. So you can see that yeah, there's a new set of leaves which will be pushing up the flowers. I had cut them all back. So see like right here, for example, is shooting up some flowers. Over here is another hostess that I will be removing and taking it apart. I'll probably move it to where the garbage can sit at because it's some bushes and it's a lot of sun in this location. As you can see, I had a ton of flowers. I just finished watering this area. Right here, I had to do a YouTube shorts last week showing you how the Melidian Garden is blooming. It's about done. When you know it's about done, you don't see a lot of bees on it. And two, the blooms start fading back. And I could just smell the garlic in here. Just so you can see it's fading back. But you can still get a, some young bees still working in here. They ain't gonna stay too close because I am allergic to bees. These are the blades. I cut the tops off because on the side, if you notice, they are new shoots coming up. Especially if I get in here, let me get in here so you guys see it. Can you see this one? It's new shoots coming up. Let's use this for example. You see that it shoots on the side that's coming up. So if you cut off the top, it will do a second flush. And then I still didn't cut my box wood. So these are the Italian sunflowers. They are doing great. I need to give it some fertilizer because I noticed it's yellow at the um, leaf. Might need some fertilizer. Comment down below because I think I might need to put some Miracle using the Morgan Organite because it's slow release to see if it turns the leaf green. And then I didn't know it get catch a whole lot of ants on here. I know ants normally go to the flower to get the nectar from it and also help the flower to produce. And then this is the vine. It's almost finished. It do like a second flush. I don't see any new blooms. Only see this one. Are the blazing stars again. Is the autumn seam. It's having color yet. It should color next month. But you see if you look closely the colors are coming in. I have another bird bath that have a little bit of the flat flower left. I had um, yarrows all over. I had cut them back to the ground so they can grow in that chair. Put a video so you guys can see how it looks. The flock is here. What I would have to do is break it apart. I see a new shoot coming up. But back to this yarrow, I kept this one because I said how pretty it is. I need some type of color over here. So I kept this one. There's new blooms coming up too. And there's some weeds I gotta pull. And then I have the irishes. They was yellow. It's, this was just one plant. Over here is the Rose of Sharon. I just had um, fertilized. You might not hear me because I'm next to the air conditioner. I just fertilized it yesterday and cut back the 
stalks that was coming up. I want just one strong trunk coming up, just one strong plant versus branches shooting everywhere. I did the same thing here, but this one is a little bit different. It has this trunk and then it got these two. Flowers are blooming on here. Look how pretty it is. These are some pretty flowers. I had these when um, I was a kid. Look at Dino. My neighbor had these when I was a little girl, so that's why I bought them. It reminds me of my childhood. Then over here is the hydrangea. Um, I really have to dig in here to see the blooms because see this one is faded. So it's almost finished. It may get a second fresh bloom, but next year, this one probably going to be as big as the one around the corner. Oh, and I have trimmed the light light bush because it has stalks everywhere. I just want one main stalk. I have fertilized and feed it. The hydrangea, this is the hydrangea, but this is our the hostess. I'll be cutting and going in here cutting back. Mm, tr trying to train this to stay up instead of flopping over over the border. And I forgot about this hostess that's under there that's been hiding. It's doing good down there. I don't have really any more blooms on this hydrangea this one is faded so i see some new leaves coming in but i don't see any more blooms so let's take one last look around the yard before i go to the front and then one last look of my dog this is the side of my driveway. You remember over here, I had nothing but daisies. I had just cut them back all the way. I don't know what I want to do with this area. I may be digging some of the daisies out and spreading them. But if I do that, they self-seed and will spread in your yard where you don't want them. So that's why I kind of keep them. Look, because I only left one left of the daisy. And it's another one that's going to sprout soon, and I cut it back. But I will be digging that one up, because I know I'm not for sure what I want to do on this side yet. Right now, the sun cuts is my favorite flower up front besides the miracles. But what I will do when it gets to September, the end of September, dig these up and move them in the back or to the side to separate. I might move them where the sunflower, Italian sunflower is at in that location because it like a lot of sun. Plus, it likes a lot of water as well. You remember the last video that I did? I had did a hard cutback in the beginning of August. Miracle Grow Fertilizer, it will come back even bigger. The reason why I did a cutback because I wanted it to refresh itself for the fall because it's gonna be cool next month. So that's what it did, it refreshed itself. I'm gonna, you see how deep green it is? That's why you should always do a cutback because it will come back better than it was originally. Here's the second pot of the geraniums. It's doing a flush back. You see, this one's not as full, but it is coming back strong. Thank you guys for watching my channel. And I am so geek and pumped that I'm sharing this tour with you guys, my backyard. Normally, I am more of a quiet, shy person. I usually don't get behind the camera and show my face that much. I like to just walk around my yard, tour it, and show you Dino. Um, thank you guys for commenting down below. Uh, I am almost at 500 subscribers. I want to take this time to thank everybody. Make sure you guys go check out the channel under my um, main page because I have links to other gardener channels that I look at personally and follow them and use their advice in my yard, which helps. So make sure you check that link out. Also, um, I don't know what I will do if I get a thousand subscribers. I don't know if I would do a giveaway. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know my dog right here right now. Uh, 
You wanna say something, Dino? You wanna say something? I guess he don't wanna say nothing. He's like, it's hot. I don't wanna be out here right now. This grass is wet. I'm ready to go in. So let's end this. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. And thank you for watching.